The pick is in. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made a selection in the 2024 NFL Draft. Alongside Locked On College football host Spencer McLaughlin, I'm Tanitra Batiste, and we are joined by James Yarko of Locked On Bucks to break down the Bucks selecting Graham Barton with the 26th pick. So, James, with Barton having played 34 games at left tackle for Duke, what made the Bucks confident that they could develop him into maybe a starter at center? Uh, I think just kind of the the level of play and the the level of athleticism that he has. Obviously, they have left tackle locked and loaded, but a lot of people kind of viewed Graham Barton as an interior offensive lineman, whether that would be guard, whether that would be center. And Jason Light said after the pick that they viewed him as a center throughout this process, but then mentioned, you know, he he's really good at guard and he's pretty darn good at, at tackle too. So we have some versatility there. And Jason Light is known for taking these offensive linemen that can play multiple positions across the line really helps the depth and helps them keep the best players on the field, not necessarily just guys that are locked in at one particular position. So Graham Barton was a guy that I had been talking about on locked on bucks for a long time is a, a really likely candidate for the bucks was a little worried about the Cowboys, but then they traded out of that pick with Detroit and, and thought, you know what? It's to me, it was either Graham Barton or Jerzon Newton and Graham Barton was the slam dunk pick. And for you talking about him and really kind of watching him for a while now, what was it, James, that you saw in Barton that made you think, wow, he's a great fit for what this Bucks organization wants to do? His unbelievable athletic ability. You know, you, you go to an offensive line that struggled in pass protection. Baker Mayfield had to play Houdini and escape a lot of different uh, you know, sacks and, and keep plays alive. And then you have the league's worst running game. They got things going late in the season, but overall the league's worst running game, Barton's ability to be able to break off the initial contact, get to the second level and become a lead blocker for these running backs, you know, has been incredibly impressive. And now he's a guy with his, with his strength, with his athleticism, and most importantly, his intelligence to be able to anchor that line. Now you have a guy that, you know, looks to be your know, looks to have all the makings of a potential Pro Bowl center that also allows the Bucks to slide Robert Hainsey back to the position where he excelled at Notre Dame along you know at guard alongside of Tristan Wirth. So now you have essentially the five best athletes out there on the field to protect Baker Mayfield, to open up running lanes for Rashad White and Chase Edmonds, and really just flip this this offensive line completely on its head compared to what we saw last year yeah you're absolutely right going back a couple of seasons seeing what that run game was even even seen it up front in the nfc south but also seeing the protection that tom brady was given you know that the o-line has been a strength of the bucks that i'm sure they want to get back to so when you look at barton possibly starting at center what's maybe one area you want to see him improve in so he'll be ready day one it, it has to be the the strength uh, you know, to, to be able to withstand the bull rush. That's really where he struggles a lot is when these bigger, stronger guys have that bull rush. He seems to be, you know, a little hesitant and, and it costs him. So really being in, to me, that's more of a mentality thing is, is being able to have confidence in his own abilities to withstand that bull rush. I, I think that's really the weakest part of his game right now. For more on the Bucks, subscribe to Locked On Bucks on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. So, Spencer, when you look at what Graham Barton was able to do in college, what do you see as one of the things that makes him able to be ready day one for the Bucks? What's maybe an area of improvement? Gosh, his explosiveness off the ball, his get off from the offensive line position, played left tackle this past year for the Blue Devils, and they, they had a good season. And don't overlook his contributions to that that year that helped get Mike Elko the head coaching job at, at Texas A&M, where he was previously the defensive coordinator. I, I think that, you know, for Barton, his ability to get to the second level, be a factor in the run game, makes him a candidate probably to slide to the interior uh, of the offensive line. But certainly, I don't think it ever hurts to have somebody that has a background at the tackle position in case you ever need to shuffle guys around in a pinch. For continuing coverage of the 2024 NFL Draft, subscribe to Locked On NFL on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.